on problems 28 to 31, we have to find the quadrant it lies in. Well, the best thing I think would probably be to do this here. Sine is what? Look at 28. Sine is positive and cosine is what? Negative. Negative. So let's go to our little uh, thing right here. And let's go down. Where is, and I already forgot what we were looking for. This is the part we're going to be looking at right here. We're looking at where sine is positive and cosine is what? Negative. So where is sine positive? Sine is positive in 1 and 2 and cosine is negative in 2 and 3. So where do they overlap? Quadrant what? 2. So the answer is quadrant 2. Quadrant 2. Secant. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. And cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. But we know Secant is what? Negative and cotangent is what? Everybody see that? They're both what? Negative. negative. So I'm going to go to my chart. Where is secant negative? Secant's negative in 2 and 3. And cotangent's negative in 2 and 4. So where do they overlap? Two. Quadrant 2 is where they overlap. Oh, I see a little... I'm trying to fix my little problem here that I didn't realize. Yay. Put that back. Okay. Quadrant two. Problem 30. Where is cotangent positive and cosine what? Negative. Negative. Let's go back. For cosine being negative. Cosine is negative in two and three, but cotangent is positive in which one? Three. Three. Three and one. So the answer is quadrant three. Now I'm looking for tangent positive and cosecant positive. Oh, that one's almost too easy. Where's the only place everything is positive? Quadrant one. And tangent and cosecant are both positive in quadrant one. So, yes, two, two, three, and one. Right. You just got to look at that little chart, figure out where they're positive and where they're negative. Right? Go ahead and cut the camera.